So uh, how do you feel about what, what happened today and how do you feel about the outcome? Well, we got the ACD, which is okay, and uh, the charge was simplified, you know, to like a parking ticket, which was okay. Um, we would like to have taken uh, again the dismissal and you know, the furtherance of justice. That really is what we would have liked. But since we didn't get it, I will accept the ACD only because we know that uh, the, we got the publicity we needed, you know, to get our people into a homeless shelter. And the objective really was to get our people in a safe haven, and that was accomplished at least temporarily. But now we have to start looking for a permanent place for our homeless. So I think that our arrest did what we wanted it to do. Um, we could have gone to trial, um, but still they would have been left and would have been drawn out. And uh, the fact that we got what we wanted in terms of helping the homeless is the important thing. It's our objective. Your thoughts about what happened today? Yeah, well, of course, the lesser charge uh, we pled guilty to, uh, which I was a little uncomfortable about, actually, uh, because really we're not guilty. Uh, we wanted to, we didn't want this to carry on and on and on in court costs and time and all that. Uh, we thought this was the best thing to do. But, you know, the, the uh, homeless situation is not over, and we're really concerned about after April 30th, what's going to happen. This is a temporary situation, and what's happening right now is okay. We're taking care of the homeless people. But with this weather and everything like this, look at look what's happening now. And if we don't get something after April 30th, we're going to have tens and tens of people out there on the street, and maybe even hundreds that are going to be on that street. And that's what we're concerned about. So we really want to see this homeless situation, you know, uh, being taken care of. That's what we're here for. It sounds like Ryan um, is going to have a warrant for his arrest posted if he's not at the next court date. And it sounds like there's some period of negotiation between the judge and uh, Ed, your, your counsel, about that. And I'm wondering what your thoughts are about Ryan's ongoing case at this point and what, what you think well, might happen. Or? I, you know, I feel badly this happened to Ryan because uh, he had no plans of returning until he, until he planned to return. Um, but now he's got to come back and breaks up his uh, trip, and I know that he had many plans made, and I feel badly for him. I was hoping that the judge would, would just let him go, uh, but that didn't happen. So, you know, I think the, the question now is how does Ryan feel, and I think he's not, he's not going to be too happy about it. Uh, there's the expense of the trip, and uh, Ed, the lawyer did say that people would help him with the expense. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to cost, but uh, I don't know how, it how much it interferes with his plans that he has in South America either. Yeah. But I feel badly for Ryan that he has to come back, because I know that's not what he wanted. Any thoughts about Ryan? Well, yeah, I feel good? badly too. Uh, I know Ryan was really looking forward to this trip, and uh, he had he really wanted to learn Spanish over there and take some time and be flexible and all that. And I know his attitude was not to be disrespectful to the court. That Ryan is not that person, and I know him. So, so it's going to be a little stretch on his part, you know, to come back and all that, and to uh, you know. And, and I guess I'm a, I'm a little. Uh, Concerned that you know that the judge would go this far to require him to do that. I'm a little disappointed in the judge uh, uh, asking that requirement of him. So, any last comments from either of you? Oh no, I have to agree with Tom that um, I didn't expect this from the judge that he would really demand that right now. Um, I was hoping he would be, you know, freer about that. Uh, and I guess. I might have expected him to do that, but for some reason he's taken a hard nose on this. You know. yeah. So, but I agree with uh, with Tom that uh, I don't think he had to go that far. Plus, I don't think our court sessions needed to be dragged out the way they were. He could have made we could have made a decision. He could have made a decision a long time ago. Uh, but dragging it out didn't help any.